What's the best setup when it comes to publishing videos specifically for YouTube, whether you're vlogging or creating simple talking head videos? That is what's coming up next. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, welcome. And if you wanna grow a channel, stake your claim, amplify your message by subscribing. Click the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Having published thousands of videos here to YouTube, as well as spending so much money on the gear, like, well, this Canon 70D, or this Sony A6300, great camera, but not really perfect, in my opinion, for those just getting started or looking for something for vlogging. Now, after purchasing lots of different cameras, I've got four elements that I feel are absolute must-haves when it comes to a great camera for videos here on YouTube. Number one is a flip-out screen. You really wanna be able to see yourself in order to create videos alone. Number two is an audio jack that will allow you to create great sounding videos, very important. Number three is portability. This is close, but we can do better. And lastly is autofocus, because if you're creating videos alone, which you wanna have that ability to do, autofocus is key. Now with that, I just purchased a new camera and I'm excited to walk you through what I believe is the best camera in 2018 for vlogging or YouTube videos. First, let's talk about those four elements and why they're so important. First, as I mentioned, is the flip out screen. And as you can see here, I've got the, the Canon 70D. This is the camera that I started out with so pretty darn good, being able to have the flip out screen means I can see myself and I can frame the shot easily. And I gotta let you know, man, this is heavy and I'm glad I got that and we're gonna unbox it in a bit. But yeah, super heavy, I definitely can see myself. Now the 70D is a great option if you're gonna be filming primarily on a tripod and indoors. But yeah, I can see this could get really hard to hold. It's, it's about three and a half, four pounds total with the camera the Gorilla tripod thingy and so on. So let's keep moving on. Now this is the Sony A6300 and I actually purchased this when I was having problems filming with my Sony RX100. Now this video, for example, is actually being filmed on an RX100. However, the audio is coming through this microphone here. The problem I had early with the RX100 is it started overheating even in HD, that's not 4K, just 1080p, I had some overheating issues. So I ran out and I purchased the A6300, and then I was, I was amazed. I just thought for sure there would be a flip out screen. This is considered to be one of the better cameras for video, but no flip out screen. So I, I had to create this. And this is basically the solution I came up with. Now, in order to make this work, I had to get extra parts. I have to use an app that connects my iPhone to the camera, and that means that the connection is based on Wi-Fi and it's not responsive. And I just, I, it's great to have a flip out screen. So this isn't quite right in my opinion. However, now as mentioned, if you are gonna be filming indoors, you may wanna go with one of the Sonys. The Sony A6300 or 6500 are great options and must have camera item number two, an audio jack. Having great sound is just as important as the image quality itself. I remember getting really excited for the Sony RX100. I wanted something really small and portable that I could take with me, take to conferences, take out on hikes and so on. And I came up with this crazy setup. However, it just meant more stuff. I had to get an extra bar to attach an audio recorder. I then had to synchronize the audio file with the video file, it took more time. One of the things I've learned over the past two years and 300 plus videos is you wanna make it super simple and easy for yourself to create videos. This kind of a setup that you're seeing now is not that. Now again, the Canon 70D, yep, has an audio jack or input. Super great, but it's just a little too bulky. YouTube camera must have number three, small, portable, something that's easy to take with you. And again, we want all these elements, the audio, the flip out screen. I can't take this on the road with me. Right now, what you're experiencing is great for indoors, but not for on the go. 
And as you can see, there's no way this is gonna work. And it's kind of amazing to me that it's hard to find a camera that really incorporates all four of these elements. Speaking of four, and that brings us to must have camera item number four, which is autofocus, because having a camera with superior autofocus will make it easy for you to craft and create those videos with help, without help. The camera will take care of the focusing. Like right now, I'm using the Sony RX100 and you can see the camera is tracking me really, really well. Like the audio might have been a bit off there, but the autofocus is tremendous on any Sony camera. And that brings us to the new camera I bought. Now, I actually uh, filmed this whole scene without actually filming it. I had the audio, but I unboxed the camera. And what we're looking at today is the Canon M50. This is a tremendous camera. And I gotta tell you, the, the weight of this camera is unbelievable. Like this is so light, I can lift it with just one of the tripod legs. Super functional. It's got all the things mentioned. As you can see, I've got the audio jack installed, uh, the microphone, I should say. I'm using the Rode Video Micro. It's got the flip out screen. That's gonna make uh, life really easy. You can see there, uh, I could be doing like uh, a nice selfie style vlog right now. No problem. Now, some people have mentioned the, the lack of 4K on the M50. And it's true, the M50 does have 4K. However, this is a, what is it called? An APC sensor, I believe, or an APS, which means it's cropped, and the crop is, is, is doubled on 4K. Meaning the footage is, is, it would be like, if this is regular, then in 4K, it would be like this. It would be a lot less of the background and more of just me. So 4K isn't great, and furthermore, the autofocus isn't dual pixel. It's based on a contrast mode or system of autofocus, which is not up to par. But for me personally, I don't believe 4K is necessary for my videos. I don't think 4K is necessary for daily vlogs or business style videos. Now, if you're a wedding videographer, then 4K is important. You want the most amazing image quality possible. And unfortunately, the Canon M50 doesn't deliver that, but it's got all the other bells and whistles. It's got the audio jack. It's got the flippy screen. It's got a lot of functionality. It's very small. It's very lightweight. And furthermore, it's got a few other uh, nifty things like image stabilization. There's actually three flavors of image stabilization and more. So the Canon M50 is a tremendous option if you're just getting started here on YouTube. It'll give you a setup that's very flexible while also allowing you to do the selfie styles, the vlogs, and so on. Now, by the way, if you're new to the channel, again, my name is Brian, and if you wanna grow, well, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. Click on the yellow B to the G icon below. You'll subscribe. I'll continue to share the gear, the strategies, how to grow a channel and more. And you'll feed a poodle. I got two, two, and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?